we want to talk a little bit about step functions and piecewise defined functions. One of the most common step functions is the greatest integer function. You see the notation. Defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to x. It has an infinite number of breaks or steps, one at each integer value. Here's a picture of it, and notice I've given you some examples there, like the greatest integer value of negative 1.5 is negative 2, of 2.7 is 2. If you're in computer science, you will use something like this quite a bit. Graphing piecewise defined functions can be done by hand or by calculator. By hand often lacks considerable accuracy, so let's see how to do it with the calculator. Now here's what your home screen looks like. All right, the first thing we're going to do is just check the idea of being able to make the calculator substitute numbers into a function. For example, x squared minus 7. Notice the vertical line. At x equal to 3 and we get 2 as the result. We're going to use that in setting up these graphs. Right, the first function is x minus 2, and we only want it to plot when x is less than negative 2. And we're going to store that in y1 of x, which is one of our graphing, uh, one of our y equals. Now, let's put the another function in, and in this case, we're going to put in x squared minus 3 for x greater than negative 2, and we're going to store it in y2 of x. All right, as soon as the calculator says done, let's go to the y equals screen, and there are our two functions. This is good. They got in the way we wanted. Then the next thing we're going to do is to tell it to zoom and then 6 zoom standard. Now watch it graph the piecewise defined function. There's the first piece, the line. Here comes the second piece, the parabola. Isn't that neat?